Hey guys, this is Josh, and uh, we're here at Orfield Labs today. We're gonna test out the Define R5 and find out how truly quiet it is. So this is the world's quietest sound room, according to Guinness. Um, I think it's estimated around like negative nine dB. And if you look around, you see all the acoustical baffles. Uh, if you look down, the floor is actually like a mesh grate and it's actually somewhat springy. So it doubles as a trampoline. The anechoic chamber is constructed out of a double shell system. So there's one steel shell with a door on that room. That room is suspended on springs. Then there's an airspace all the way around and another shell of composite metal panels. So we still have the heating system on for the anechoic chamber. And with a quiet microphone, we can measure that, which is very quiet in there, you yeah. can't hear it, is between five and 10 decibels A-weighted. That's extremely quiet. It's most mm -hmm. quiet than most environments you'll ever be in. But now I'm going to turn off that system and we should be able to measure below zero. What's the reading? Negative one point it's three spiking, was as low as it got. It's, it's like minus one. The reason why, even though that's super isolated through there, it's so sensitive and quiet in there that we can pick up us talking even. Yeah. It's just so quiet. So now we might be able to... <laughs> See? Wow. It sounds like you're tapping the mic itself. <laughs> right. That's because that's how much gain we have. Watch. And that's still the interior door closed. <laughs> yeah, that's still that whole thing closed Right, up. right. But if you turn this up when the door's open... <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's game city. <laughs> if I talk in here, you should easily be able to hear me nice and clearly, right? Right, right, right. But then if you uh, leave it up, the volume up and open the door, it'll be... Oh. Because <laughs> there's so much gain. Yeah. And it's quiet gain. We're using ISO 3744. A, a hemispherical mic array, which uses 10 microphone positions. Each position is at one meter from the device, but over the surface of a hemisphere. I keep moving it after I adjust it. <laughs> <laughs> so how many different measurements are we going to end up taking per? On each one, 10. 10, so you have to reset this five times? Five times. <laughs> so it just goes to show you, obviously, when we construct the Define R5, you know, it's it's basically, it's a platform, right? The whole reason we have the Modivent panels is some people want to have optimum silence, some people want to have optimum airflow, and that's where we give you the choice. You know, some guy may not be as concerned if it's 15 dB versus 10 or 8 or whatever. For the people who are more focused on silence, you can leave them all on. You know, in Puget, when they want to go all in, they do things where they come up with custom fan brackets that they develop that basically relocate fans inside the case for more optimal airflow, where this one is designed somewhat as an intake, but more than anything, it's gonna direct air directly onto the graphics card. So the graphics card is cooler, so the graphics card fans don't have to spin as hard. So we were trying to be able to actually film inside the chamber and you know, like have like a time lapse or something of the test, and both cameras we have here are actually too loud. Like normally if the case is like crazy loud or something, it would make a difference because it's so much louder. But because the case is so quiet, the tiny, tiny little noises on the cameras would be enough to out. throw it off. Just, yeah. It's crazy. Anything below about 10 decibels A-weighted, you're going to have a really hard time hearing at all unless you're very close to it. And there's two microphones in there and each one has a different value. So that one. this is microphone number one. 10.6, microphone number two, 10.5. All right, so out goes the full case and in goes the test bench. Yes. So this is the exact same thing, just obviously without the case. Exact same hardware configuration, exact same fan, number of fans and type of fan. So it's basically apples to apples as close as we can get, you know, gear on an open bench versus gear inside the case. Okay, so as we're finishing up the other testing, we're gonna move into what we call kind of like the reviewer's benchmark. Uh, generally what most reviewers will tend to do is run a system based on thermal loads so that the fans spin up, so on and so forth, and create a noise level. Um, so to replicate that, we're gonna run Prime 95, taxing all cores on the CPU at 100%, as well as run uh, Unigen Heaven benchmark on top of that to simulate, I guess, you know, a standard stress test for a system, generally larger than what uh, normal usage would be, but kind of a worst case scenario. So this is a, probably the least scientific of our tests. The rest of them have all been the ISO where it's very regimented what we do. This we're just trying to replicate what a lot of reviewers do. So basically this thing's undergoing stress testing right now. Um, as you can see, the, the benchmark's still running and I think we're hitting like right around, was it 20-ish? 
22 or so out there, which compared to a lot of our other test results seems incredibly high. You know, it's orders of magnitude higher. But then if you actually listen to the system, you'll hear how loud it is right now under full load. All right, so it has been two weeks and we finally had the results. So it was actually a lot of work. We thought that like, we were there like, oh, we'll just spit out the, the thing. You got like 10 minutes. It was a big deal. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was 60 tests and then it was two weeks of crunching the numbers into what he considers a condensed form, which still- <laughs> How many pages are in the spreadsheet? Uh, there's, I think like 12 tabs and there's like 47 columns on each tab. It's like the SATs. I. I, mean, I, I didn't know it. what I was signing up for, just throwing this out there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't bother invoicing. So basically, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to post all of the different results uh, as part of the video. We'll also post a link to the official reports once we have those completed. We're kind of going all the nerdy stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're kind of going for like a full transparency thing here. It's like, obviously, you know, we, we couldn't have done anything to nerf this test in our favor mm -hmm. and still maintain the ISO compliance. So right. we're going to put all the details up there. I mean, You'll probably be able to see the 60 different tests if that's your thing. Is that it? I think we're done. All right. I think okay, we're good. Okay, good, because that was really like shaky at the end. <laughs>